At the British Heart Foundation we know an active lifestyle can help you fight heart disease. In fact, every 10 minutes counts. But getting fit doesn't mean dragging yourself to the gym for hours on end. That's why we've devised a 10 minute workout that you can do in the comfort of your own home. If you have any health problems or concerns, talk to your doctor or healthcare professional first before you start the exercise. Okay, let's get started. Um, we're gonna start with a warm up to the main exercise. So some gentle walking on the spot. Your opposite arm to your opposite knee. It's really important that we include a warm up before our main exercise to get our heart beating faster, our muscles warmer and to avoid injuries. Start to think about moving your arms up and down and your legs, opposite arm with opposite leg. Just start to feel yourself feeling a bit warmer. Your muscles will get nice and loose and your joints nice and loose as well. Keep pumping your legs. Once we've got our heart beating a bit faster and our muscles a bit warmer, we can start thinking about doing some gentle stretches, some mobilisation exercises. We'll start with some gentle shoulder rolls, bringing your shoulders up to your ears and back. Really thinking about loosening off all the muscles around your neck and your shoulders. We'll do some arm circles. Start off going backwards and forwards. Really feel it in your shoulder joint, getting nice and loose. Do some hip circles. And then the other way. Loosen off your back muscles. Then we'll do some ankle rolls. Firstly one way and then the other way. And then change feet. Do one way and then the other way. And now you should start to feel nice and warm and relaxed with your muscles and joints all working, ready for the workout. Okay, let's get started with our first exercise, the punches. Start with your legs shoulder width apart. Make a fist with your hands. Bring your elbows into your waist and start moving your arm out in front of you. This exercise uses the muscles in the top of your arms, your triceps and your biceps. If you want to build in muscles in your core, you can start reaching across to either side. If this is still quite easy for you, you can incorporate some weights. So being as you're at home, you could hold some tins of beans in your hands. And that's the end of our first exercise. Now we're going to go to walking on the spot. This is your rest period, keeping our muscles nice and warm and loose and using it as a recovery period. Great thing about this workout is that you don't need to wear lycra, you can just wear comfortable clothing that allows you to move. And you can do it in your own house with a little bit of space anytime. Okay, now we're gonna move on to doing some squats. So take your Feet slightly wider than the shoulder width apart. I'm going to start by bending the knees and coming back up. So think about if you're going to sit down in a chair, your bum needs to go backwards and you need to make sure that your knees don't go further forwards than your feet. Try and keep the weight going through the heels of your feet. So if you're finding this quite easy, Start thinking about trying to go a little bit lower, getting your legs, your thighs parallel to the floor at the bottom of the squat. You should start to feel a nice burn at the top of your legs, working nice and hard. And then we're going to move back into our rest period we're doing some walking on the spot. So 
Well done, you're nearly halfway through. You should be feeling nice and warm, breathing harder than normal, and your heart beating a bit faster than normal. And then we'll move into our next exercise, which is called jumping jacks. So, start with your feet together, and your arms by your side, and then we're gonna make a star jump in the air, and bring our arms back down to our sides, and our feet back to the middle. Make sure that your arms touch at the top. Jump on the balls of your feet. Make sure that your knees are soft and slightly bent. Engage the core muscles and keep your back nice and neutral. You'll feel this in your legs and in your arms and shoulders. Okay, 10 seconds to go. You've done great. Keep going. We'll go back into walking on the spot. It's really important to be active every day. Remember, every 10 minutes counts. Try and think about ways that you can build activity into your daily lifestyle. So walking all or part of the way to work, taking a break at lunchtime, going out for a walk, meeting up with friends after work, and doing something active with them. Okay, so our next exercise is high knees. So this is in a progression of walking on the spot. So you're starting to really pump with your legs, getting your knees up to waist height, and also bringing your arms up towards your shoulders. Think about engaging your stomach muscles and keeping your back nice and neutral. Remember to keep breathing. You feel this in the tops of your legs, your thigh muscles. Keep your arms, your legs pumping. If you find this relatively easy, you can go to jogging on the spot with high knees. Keep it simple. Just keep pumping your knees and your arms up and down. Okay, we're going to go back to walking on the spot for the last time before our final exercise. Try and build up to 150 minutes activity a week. This might sound like a lot, but if you find something you enjoy, it'll be easier to reach your target. Another thing you can do is find a friend to be active with. That way you can motivate each other to keep going. Okay, now we're gonna move into our final exercise, which is sit-ups. So we need to get down onto the floor. I'm gonna lie with our knees bent, engage our stomach muscles, and push our belly button down to the floor. Keep our back in a neutral position. Put our hands by our ears, and lift our shoulders, and roll our chest up and then slowly lower. Remember to keep breathing in and out. Engage your stomach muscles and keep your spine in a neutral position. Nearly done. Okay, that's the final exercise finished. We're gonna go into a cool down. So we're gonna start with a nice hamstring stretch. So lean up and forward and feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Okay, and then change legs. So up and forward. And hold the stretch for up to 10 seconds. And we'll move into stretching our inner thighs. Bring our feet together and push our knees down towards the floor. 
You should feel a nice stretch on your, on your thigh. Okay, release off of that stretch. We're going to stretch our backs out, so link your hands. Push forward with your hands, feeling that stretch in your nice upper back. Okay, and finally, stretching chest muscles off at the front. You can link your hands, that's fine. Stretch the muscles out. And that's the end of the cool down period. Well done, you've finished your British Heart Foundation 10 minute workout. For more information about ways you can change your life in 10 minutes, visit us online.